I asked her, go over there. <laughs> What up, two fleshy family? It's your girl Patra. I have Lana in the house. Yeah. And from the title of this video, y'all know what we doing. Lana cooks some lancha. Like, what did it say right here, Ivana? We dance in this kitchen. Hey, hey, hey. So today, guys. Tonight. Really. Tonight. Yeah, tonight. <laughs> not day. Tonight. 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 Hey. <laughs> yeah. So we cooking lamb chops for the first time. Put y'all two cents in the comments. Let us know if you've ever done this before. I've never cooked lamb chops. I eat it all the time. Yes, I eat it all the time too. But I've never cooked it. Never. Let's hope for the best. So we got lamb chops. I watched a couple videos on recipes and ideas on how to do this, but I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna do it how I want to do it. Cause I like, I know how I like my food to taste, so I'm gonna do it how I want to do it. I got some fresh thyme. We got some garlic cloves. We got a bunch of seasonings. The lemon juice is to cut the gamey gamey of the lamb. The vinegar is gonna be used to wash it. Please wash y'all meat. I don't know what people <laughs> be telling y'all, but please wash. Yeah, you have to wash the meat, even though it's packaged like this. You don't yeah. know if they dropped it in the warehouse. Jesus. Oh, come on, look Scooped at all the, the blood, ground. Though. You wanna? I know they got blood soups and things out there like we noticed the other day. They mm. have cow blood soup. Mm. Oh hell no! Oh, I'm not trying to partake in that stuff. <laughs> but um, please. Not, not, that's not a thing. Wash your meat. Okay. Definitely wash your meat. Salmonella is real. Wash your meat. So we're smashing the garlic. Hey! To kind of get it out of the shell. Boom, my garlic hands, peeled my, in two my seconds. Hands, my hands are gonna stink. It's okay, it's gonna taste good. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna chop the garlic. That's the easy chopper, people. We're gonna take off the little brown parts, of course. Yeah. Time to chop. Ooh chop to perfection. Ooh. This is a lifesaver, guys. Yes, you have is. to invest in one of these. Look, okay. look at how it minced the garlic. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we just need the flavor. So we got our lamb out of the wrapper and we're gonna wash it. Rinse off all the excess impurities. Then you pour some vinegar to really get rid of the impurities. Mm -hmm. it all right. And we're keeping all that fat. All of it. All that. Cause you notice you don't see no oil mm -hmm. over there. So we're taking a few sprigs of thyme and we are going to shred it all into this bowl. We're going to pour a little bit of lemon juice. This we're making our marinade. That's good. That's good. You don't want too tart. Jesus. I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. Not too much. Stinger can't eat that. A little bit more. Bruh. <laughs> some parsley flakes. I don't know why they put these in these bottles, because it's just so And there's nothing in there. That's all the time, you guys. <laughs> we have all the time in the world. Dun, 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 dun. Then we're gonna add some. I think we should do Cezanne instead of that one. <laughs> and pepper. Just you guys, bit. I live for pepper grinders. Look at this. <laughs> I think that's enough. Then we got some Himalayan salt right here. Just a little bit. No, a lot. It's not salty. Y'all, she always uses this thing when I'm on FaceTime with her and it's not even doing nothing. Let me show you how to grind it. All right. It doesn't, you don't see it. Oh, I see it now. It's like confectionery sugar when you grind it. Tell her when to stop, y'all. Yeah, put y'all two sips in the comments. Tell me when to stop. I think, when that's, stop. I think that's good. Tell no, stop! Oh, yo, she has to. <laughs> Yo, she is obsessed with this salt. You guys, drop your two cents down below. Tell us how y'all feel about Himalayan salt versus mm -hmm. regular sea salt versus sea salt is extra salty. I was it iodine? Is it iodine? Salt? Yep. So how do you guys feel? Is it too much salt? Nope, not too much salt at all. I seen the I seen the, the video where they had a teaspoon and a half of salt. 
Man, they be throwing a whole container of salt. Too much salt. <laughs> no. Your lips be burning. Mix it up. Mmm. Mmm. All them fresh herbs taste so good. Mmm. Oh yes! I need to get me one of these little chopper things. That's our third. Oh, that looks so good. It smells good. Mmm. Tastes good? Mmm. Just the herbs alone taste good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and marinate these bad boys. So we're gonna just rub it in really, really good. Right. Look who just came home, guys! Hey y'all. What up, Food Factory family? You know what your boys thing is tea? You know, I just got home from work. Guys, I'm so tired. Hmm. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. She just get it. She just get it. She's living daylight out of me. Yeah, I got him, y'all. Too bad I didn't record it. But yeah, he jumped out his skin, out his pants, out his jacket, out of everything. Out his bow tie. <laughs> out his bow tie. <laughs> Lamb chops in the refrigerator. Marinade. Marinating. Marinating. Now it's time to dance. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good. What you think? I think it's going to taste a little different than what we're used to. We're used to the brown stews, the curries, the jerks, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we still have our Christmas tree up over there. Don't worry about that. Let us live. Listen, we only had it, we only, we put it up the week of Christmas. We moved I think late. it was like two days before Christmas. Mm-hmm, let us live. Oh, they trying to it's okay. Marinate. Hey, you know what? Make it's sure you Christmas guys marinade. give this video a big thumbs up if you think that we're, our, our lamb chops are gonna taste good. If you think they our lamb chops are gonna taste don't. good. We still gonna eat some things. Yes. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn your notifications on so you know when we post another video. And don't forget to share with your friends. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so guys. We're here trying to figure out the sides now. Like, you know, what's gonna complement our lamb chops. We're gonna do orzo. It's we're gonna like use, rice pasta. Yeah, basically. We're gonna use two cups. And then four quarts of water, which we have already poured in our pot in over the here. Pot. So we're just waiting for it to boil, and then we're gonna add our orzo. So yeah, we gotta, we, so it doesn't cook like rice. You actually have to cook it, and then drain it after you cook it. So you get rid of all the water, and then you let it sit for a little bit so that it gets a little bit more swollen. Now it's time to pour some of the orzo in. Stir it so it doesn't get all stuck together. Mm. Pour some more. Stir it again. Yeah, we put a little bit of salt earlier. So, you know, there's some salt in the water, guys. Yes, there is. A few moments later. What's that, baby? So we're draining the orzo. Alright, so guys, we're playing, you know, the Food Network chefs. Boy, if you don't get it. No, we're not. So we're just chopping the garlic <laughs> and the onions and the pepper and the thyme for the bok choy. Ooh, our second side. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> we're nobody's acclaimed chef. My ass hurt. Go over there. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Where are you going? <laughs> Get all your seasonings for the bok choy nice and chopped. Yep, there's pepper in there. So we're gonna use some of this vegetable bouillon for the bok choy. We're doing what in this? Bok choy. And then the? Lamb chops. Okay. That one needs to be on medium high. Okay, so we're gonna use some butter. We're gonna use some butter. Hey, right, here we go. So the lamb chops nice are and nice and marinated. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Right. Now we're gonna add the onions for the bok choy. Onions, pepper, and thyme, and garlic. And garlic, yes. Yeah, don't garlic. forget the garlic. Ooh. So you saute this for about two minutes or so. Just so the onions are still crispy, but all flavor is included in the pot. So then you just cover it for about a minute or two so the flavor gets locked in. So we added a little bit of paprika. 
Then we're adding some Himalayan salt. And then we're gonna add our bok choy. When she's done adding salt. <laughs> I'm just adding it up, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying though. Know. So you stir this in and then you let it simmer for a little bit. We switch to the metal spoon. Yep. Because the wooden spoon wasn't cutting it. It's not cutting it at all. Yo, if you're not banging pot in your um in your kitchen, you're you not ain't cooking. cooking. Nope. Nope. Oh. What? It will turn the stove down on this. So now we're gonna put our lamb chops in. Hot pan, you guys, is nice and warm, you know? Yep, not too hot. Ooh, it's maybe a little bit too low. Let's turn it up a little bit. Hey, you hear that sear? You wanna try to get it on the fat side down. Yeah. You may have to stack a couple of them up in the pan to, to you know, other. get it right. But you wanna get it on this the fat stubborn. side down. Yeah. Oh, there you go. And kind of sear off that fat. That's what you want to use to kind of cook that, you know? Yeah, because we're not putting any oil in our pan. Yeah, we don't want to overcook the meat either. So we're going to get it fat side down. We're doing something in here. Pot is full. We're going to let these things cook off. Remember, do not overcrowd your pot. Right. Because you don't want the temperature to drop. So this is our second set of lamb chops. First set right there, second set right here. And as you can see, we did not use any oil, but there's a lot of oil in the pot. So we're just letting it simmer a little bit. Here, yeah, just letting the fat render off. Give it a little brown on each side, and then we're gonna let it cook down. I think it's gonna taste different from any other lamb chop that we've ever had. I mean, I'm a, well, I've had deer before, but it was a really long time ago, but it was really good. It like, nice. yeah, I think gamey meat tastes like, I'm gaming. Hey! It's just gonna taste different from the lamb chops mm -hmm. at the restaurants and shit. Yeah. Definitely. Or even from where Anagon made it. Yeah. Or anybody else made it. But mm -hmm. it's gonna taste different. Cool. We're making it and ooh. I wonder what kind of spice we got. What can we give? We probably can name the lamb chops. Let's give it a name. Mm -hmm. huh. Let's make it garlicky lemon lamb chop. Really, nigga? <laughs> More water. Woo! Okay. We're trying to make it nice and saucy, guys, because we know Jamaicans, we love sauce. Gravy, how you call it? Mm -hmm. A reduction. Yeah, a reduction. I'm going to chop it up. Whatever you want to say. Go, go um, ahead, let this cook down. Let it cook down for a little bit. Making lamb chops for both of us, guys. Alright, we're gonna cut them too. <laughs> yeah, after it's cooked. Mm. It's good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's gonna be too long. <laughs> but the food is good. Definitely gonna just buy this from the one. Like, cook in here. No, I'm gonna try again. Can you try them? Yeah, we're not drinking. Bruh. I think we should try when the meat is prepared for us as well. No. I'm gonna try again. Are you sure? Yeah. Because mm. mm -hmm. I think the flavor's okay. Mm. It's very good. I'm just really lamby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I would love to taste it like. The way it's supposed to be clear, I guess. I don't taste it, it was tender. Mm-hmm. The orzo's good and the bok choy is good. The part that we can't actually consume more good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Mm-hmm. Just that your jaw has to work just a little bit longer. So. Just a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Get a workout of the jaw and Oh, wow. It's good. I've never had lamb chops this color either. 
Yeah, my lamb chops are always been like kind of like a brownish thing, like a beef. Mm hmm Like browning. Mm hmm Somebody wants to put paprika in the lamb chops. I wonder who that is. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I wonder if my next one is gonna be good because every bite is getting better. It just tastes really good though. Mm -hmm. It's just different from what we've had. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit chewy than what we have. That means we cook too long. Yeah. Oh, but that's okay. Trial and error. good. Mm -hmm. Right. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Put y'all toast in the comments. Have you ever tried lamb chops? Don't try our recipe because our recipe by no means is not a lamb chop recipe. And drop your recipes down below. Too. If you have any, definitely let us know down and below. And cooking instructions, because those yeah. are important. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I watched a few videos before doing this, and none of them told me how long to cook the meat. Did you cook it until it's tender? Well, how am I supposed to know if it's tender? I seen one person put their finger in the meat like this. I can't do that. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how long to cook it for. Five minutes, two minutes, you know, like B loves, she cooks lobster and all that type of stuff all the time. And she tells you a minute per ounce. Tell me that. Okay? I don't have a skill in my kitchen. I don't know about you. Well, I know what I buy. So you know. That's true. Yeah. The just tell me something to measure how long to cook it. If you know how to cook this, let us know. Put y'all to some in the comments. Thank y'all for watching this crazy video. We had fun cooking, although it turned out a little bit It's still good. Mm -hmm. It's still good. Thank y'all for rocking with us. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank God. Bye. Put God first. And we all say, to flashing.